So we're down here in Downingtown today. We're really excited about this project for several reasons. First of all, we always like the really big projects. This is a total redo, replacing all the windows, tearing off all the stucco, installing installing a um, a sort of plank siding, which is made from certain teed. It's meant to replica the replicate the James Hardy siding, but it's a vinyl product with a backer board. So we're really excited about installing that here. But you can see here we're removing all the stucco. And stucco is just a huge problem. A lot of issues where there is rot behind the stucco because stucco is such a porous product. And most stucco projects have been installed incorrectly. So you can see here we removed it. We had to repair the wood as needed, replace the windows, install Tyvek, and then products on top of that. So here on the garage side, we're going to be taking off this old wood trim and replacing it with uh, Azac. So it'll be a nice wide composite trim that never needs to be painted, uh, never rots out. So again, all the stucco will come off this end. The chimney over here, you can see how bad the streaking is. I suspect, and we'll see when we tear off the stucco here, I suspect there'll be a major rot in that corner. So we'll tear everything off, do all the wood repairs, replace the windows. And you can see here how bad these windows are. They're completely shot. Um, So what we'll do on this chimney here is we'll remove the stucco and we're actually going to put shingles on the shoulder of that stucco. We'll put two by six framing board shingles and then reside that. And it's gonna look amazing when we're done there. So that's this gable end. Coming around the back, you can see we're in the process of removing stucco now. <clears throat> it's again, a very tedious project because you have to cut out squares of the stucco. You have to manage all the all the debris and, and the weight, as well as just the amount of dust that comes off. So you can see here we're removing the back side. Underneath here we'll be removing this stucco on these porch beams, the beam and the posts, and packing out with Azac. A lot better of a product than the uh, stucco. And Erica, come around the right elevation here, you can see the the rot here along the bottom. Now we did start at the top, so most of these repairs have been completed, but there's a significant rot around these windows. Here at the bottom, we still haven't repaired it. You can see how bad this is. Water just infiltrating this stucco, again, being a very porous product. So, and it was a lot worse up higher underneath those windows, which is typically where the worst rot occurs. So doubling back to the stucco component on these projects, a lot of people just don't realize the, the issue with uh, the, the rotting underneath the stucco. If you have any staining at the corners of your windows, down along your chimneys, most likely you have rot underneath. And sometimes the stucco looks fine and we open it up and it's really, really bad. So we always suggest having a moisture test done. There's companies you can hire for moisture testing. Um, but it's something that's really important to look into because when the rot gets deep enough into the framing, it actually will start to deteriorate your studs and that can cause a real problem.